feeling. You look okay. nice. I'm tired of the games. <laughs> I'm going to just be real up. <laughs> real with you. Mm. I'm tired of bullshit. Uh, damn, that was a handful. Get off the chest. Okay. Be a leader. Yeah, not real, real talk. <laughs> Person, don't be a follower. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Sadi. I'm my lovely co-host. What's up, y'all? Dash. And you're tuned in with Filter Web. Filter Web Podcast. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? I'm good. How you feeling? You look I'm nice. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try. Right. You know, it's, <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Um, how you feeling? What are we talking? Today, we are going to talk about how relationships differ from back in the days compared to now. Now. Okay. Yeah. What's your take on it? Well, I feel like back then, you know, people actually cherish and had respect and morals within relationships mm -hmm. and um, weren't afraid to, like, accept love or, you know, put that out there. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, people are walking with their guard up. Everybody's so hard and, you know, they don't, they're not really trying to get into that mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of thing. And I feel like people don't appreciate other people and yeah. nor have respect or morals. Damn, that was a handful. Get on the <laughs> chest. Okay. Um, first and foremost, I agree. Relationships back in the days, I don't know, they just felt more solid, like mm -hmm. um, the morals and principles. Uh, nowadays, it just feels like people, um, they do things for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. They look for like um, things outside of their relationship right. to like verify their relationship, music, entertainment, and you know, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it don't feel as solid as relationships used to feel. So I agree. Not definitely. But um, with that being said, what are to you what are five things that you feel like a relationship needs like the foundation um loyalty uh -huh. respect communication being open-minded mm -hmm. and um just being able to like just have fun together yeah i i, I definitely agree with that yeah. that's a solid five yeah i would say um trust communication mm -hmm. fun um a partnership and each person being secure with it, with their individual self I think is important. Ooh, yes, that's yeah. very big. Yeah, um, I think that's a solid foundation. Of, yeah. No. It's a healthy relationship. No, absolutely. I agree. Um is there anyone that you look up to um as far as like relationship goals? It could be a celebrity or um somebody you grew up with. Um Honestly, not really. Like, celebrity-wise, nah. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's kind of, like, teenager-ish. Like, I don't I don't look at, like, goals. Like, that ain't me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no shade to anybody, but that ain't me. Like, because yeah. they they show they show us what we want to see. Or, like, they only show us so much. We don't yeah. know what's going on behind closed doors. Like, nobody's perfect. So, no, you're right. yeah, nah. Like, nah. What about you? I agree. Um, I mean, I looked up to, like, my grandparents growing mm -hmm. up and um, my aunt and uncle, I have a few of them that are still married still to this day. Mm -hmm. um, so like being able to see like from when I was a kid up until now that they're still together, it's yeah. just like, wow, yeah, I yeah. would love that. I would love the longevity, mm -hmm. you know, but then like a, a marriage right, um, right. in the future. So, yeah. yeah. That's dope. I, I never really, I feel like in my family, I never really had that to pull from mm -hmm. like uh like, oh, like the ideal relationship in my family. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just wasn't there. So I think I think that's dope. But I I don't really have that to, to pull from. But um, what was I going to ask you? Do you feel like um, your significant other should complete you? Um, Great question. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like either way, like people are still looking for a other half. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you are whole within yourself and the other person is whole within themselves and they come meet you halfway. Absolutely. Like everyone wants that, like completion, like together. Right. So I feel like it's important, like as individuals, you guys are all said. And then together, it's like yeah, it should, yeah, yeah. anything. It should be an add on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's a good answer. I agree. Have you um, ever thought like. Nowadays, social media um, or like music affects relationships today. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, 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 I feel like it's all like a trickle down effect. Entertainment, music, the culture—it definitely trickles down and influences the 
relationships that we have today mm-hmm. that feel like disposable. Yeah. They don't really feel solid because once again, I feel like people are looking for the um, a base in there what's important to them. Yeah. On the wrong for the wrong reasons and in the wrong things like somebody's making a song telling you to do this yeah meanwhile they in a whole happy happily married relationship yeah but y'all following what they say and you know what i mean like so that definitely affects like relationships in the culture today no i definitely agree like you know back then we didn't have as much access to like the internet and social media like that now it's like we have access to all of that so everything is out in the open and people are just um you know brainwashed and just so focused on what they see in front of them which is not actually reality yeah yeah you no, know i agree um like with social media you know you have like your ideal couples or goals mm-hmm. that people think that they're, they're goals yeah but um you know we never know what goes on behind closed doors mm-hmm. you know exactly. people can, couples can take a picture but little do you know they're yeah. not really happy or they <laughs> yeah. just fought they just nah. you know i can tina it up and yeah, yeah. <laughs> people definitely be doing that <laughs> yeah. definitely be doing that nowadays so with that being said like what do you feel like is the cure the answer to to not get relationships back to how they used to be but i guess to get them to more of a solid place like what's the What's the answer? What do you think? You got to be real with, your, real with yourself. Like, if you're a real right yeah. individual, you know, be that same way within a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, and just go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't be a punk to, like, be able to accept love or to love a person. Like, you know, love is free. Yeah. Um, and I just feel like everyone should just be their own individual. Like... You don't have to go around following what you see, what you hear on social media. Like, everything is not what it appears to be. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, go by your rules. Do what you feel is right. I agree. I feel the same way. Okay, follow-up question. What personal experience, I guess, experiences have you been through to get you to this place and point in this, like, current mindset? I'm be tired of the games. <laughs> I'ma just be real up. <laughs> real with you. I'm tired of bullshit. <laughs> you know, um, from having like multiple like dating experiences mm-hmm. and after meeting so many like individuals and getting to see and know who is actually who. Yeah. Um, I've just gotten to the point where, you know, I'm an old soul. So I do follow some guidelines from like back in the day too so i mm-hmm. think that's another thing how i was brought up and raised which is a good thing so you know now i'm just like listen it's come correct and come real or just stay out my way yeah i, I, I dig <laughs> i feel you I yeah feel you. um what do you think how do you um, feel i'm not perfect so i feel like i've been through a lot I, yeah you know i've been through my share of bullshit too of course on my part and the other person's part but i feel like which each of my, I guess, relationships or just as the older that I get, like, I learn from my experience, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, to make me, to ultimately make me a better person. And I feel like that's what life is about. Like, if you're not learning from what you go through and what you're doing, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, no. you, you staying stuck. So Absolutely. each of my experiences, I gain and learn something from to make me a better person like i mean for myself and for someone else so yeah so um what message would you have to give to a person who the youth and you know like lost individuals who are trying to like find love Mm -hmm. and find something real i would just say be yourself i think that's that's important be yourself and understand and figure out what's what makes you happy because we're all a lot of people are basing happiness off of things that make other people happy oh this couple is happy because of this so mm-hmm. let's incorporate this in our relationship where mm-hmm. that may not even be the case mm-hmm. like with you and your relationship y'all may be happy with two different things mm-hmm. than me and my relationship so i just think it's about figuring out who you are coming to terms with that the person that you are what makes you happy and the person, and then offering that person to the relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the advice that I would give a person. Love Don't be a follower. Figure out what makes you happy. And be a leader. Yeah, not re- <laughs> real talk. Like, and move based off of that. Like, you don't got to do yeah. the most for anybody else. Mm-hmm. It's your relationship. Figure out what makes you 
and your partner happy. Hello. Preach. There we <laughs> go. Yes. Well, to conclude all of that, um, well, we want to ask you guys, what do you guys think? Do you feel like um, relationships are different compared to back then as opposed to now? Um, so tell us what you think and how you feel. And thank you for tuning in. Filter what podcast? Let us know how you feel in the comments. All right. <laughs> Bye. Later.